Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over today's UFC card uh, completely from a lineup construction perspective. And to be more precise, we are completely dedicated to this video to try to win the most money in the MME lottery, the 150 max. Now, I am going to be playing the 555 and a couple of entries into the, the qualifier, but completely going to focus this on the on the 150 max. And as I mentioned time and time again, there's just an excruciatingly uh, dramatic difference between analyzing MMA DFS for the purposes of figuring out who the best plays are and analyzing DFS from the purposes of figuring out how to construct lineups to win the, the 150 max. Because there are only, I say only, uh, 13 fights, 26 possible betting entrants, and... You know, you want to be able to strike that balance between trying to get unique enough lineups where if you do win, you win a lot, and also playing lineups that actually have a chance to win. So striking that balance requires the use of a lot of technology. Uh, it does require the use of your of your takes and things like that, but you have to get used to, you know, different different ways of using the tools at your disposal to get that type of portfolio that you need. So it's it's my constant um, quest to get better at this and share my thought process behind these uh, behind these challenges. Uh, now we're gonna use Saber Sim again for, for this. And we're not gonna spend any time really on the plays with, with, with a couple of exceptions. I just wanna just reiterate um, a couple of things. Number one, both main, both main events are strong, you know, with the five rounds. And the, the two main fights to target, aside from that, are going to be the uh, the, uh, the 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 Torres Duncan fight and the uh, Lacerda, what's his name, uh, uh, Chiras fight. And as I did go over in the in the picks video or whatever, the, the Duncan leverage is extremely strong. Um, he his his money line odds are terrible. Uh, Torres looks like a mathematical theoretical lock. And in, in situations like that, you really should take a look at the opponent, uh, that being Duncan. And Duncan himself has decent enough metrics where, you know, he's just an extremely good leverage play. So you, you want to get, you know, from those four fights, you want to get a lot of exposure. But how exactly do you do that? You know, you have Brandon Moreno who, you know, probably has the highest median projection on, on the whole slate. Um, even though he's like the sixth highest, you know, rated guy. I, mean, I have him 10 points higher than everybody else. Um, even though he's like the eighth highest owned guys, eighth highest uh, salary guy. So he's going to be 50% owned. What are you going to do? I mean, you, you want to play him with Torres you want to play him with Torres, with with someone from the other main event, with Chires. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if you do that, you're you're really running the risk of not getting unique enough. Um, so we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. The other thing I, I should mention that when I ran this 150 max build without making one adjustment, I was getting about twenty percent. Uh, fight stacks, even even in that main event, even given the fact that I was setting it to you know do an MME type build, um, I was still getting you know actually assuming twenty percent, maybe like ten percent game uh fight stacks, and that already puts you in kind of a quandary when you're when you're doing lineup building is do you trust your models or do you trust your instincts? In other words, you don't usually want to. Um, you don't usually want to do a uh, do fight stacks, right? Makes sense. But if your models that are supposed to account for all that give you fight stacks, do you want to ignore it? Um, it's a uh, it's an interesting question, right? It's it's definitely an interesting question. Um, I. For the purposes of this video, I set a rule to 
not have opposing fighters in the same lineup. Um, you could choose to do that. You could choose not to do that. That is, but it is a decision, and it is a legitimate decision to be made on a uh, card like this, where your models are where Saberson is actually recommending you do something. So I will, I will leave that, leave that decision to you. Um, okay. So the first thing we always do is just run it as as is. And and reminder, this is what you're looking at here. So. The, the, the default setting for the 150 after you run this is MMA default. And just to remind you guys, this ranking is the most aggressive there is. I mean, when you get into the, the weeds here, it, it takes a real big chunk from ownership and it also really prioritizes 99th percentile outcomes. So... When you set it for this, you're getting just about the most aggressive, most unique way, or the most unique set of lineups without artificially uh, reducing ownership, without artificially reducing salary. Um, so it is, and it is a, it's a, it's a lineup set to respect when you're trying to win the, you know, the big prize. And it's a lot of set that if you just kind of use your instincts and look at it, you're just never want, going to want to play it, right? <clears throat> I mean, if you look at this, who wants this? I mean, you get literally, what, what are you getting here? Zero Manuel Torres, for example. Okay. Um, do you want to do that? I, I would say probably not. It's just it's kind of an option, right? But you can use this type of ranking system to make sub, you know, sub builds. Like if you want to, to, to do something where, okay, let's just, let's, let's play lineups with Moreno and, and Chires and, and Torres, for example, I would only want to play those where they were ranked by MMA default, for example. Um, okay. Next thing you want to look at are the uh the ratings by sim diversity 10 and now is where you're getting you know your quote unquote good plays right you have moreno ortega uh, rodriguez uh, you know just the, the guys that we always we talked about torres a whole bunch of them now usually when you get here this type of build is not usually conducive to you know winning this thing by yourself Okay, it's usually not quite aggressive enough to win the uh, to win the MME by yourself. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't play it. I think that if you're not addicted to uniqueness like I am, uh, I think this is a very good place to almost stop. And as long as your projections are good, as long as your eye test makes sense, maybe even if your eye test doesn't make sense, you could just kind of pile that in. But I want to do, I think, a little bit better. Okay. Um, as far as uniqueness goes. Now, the other thing that I notice is that a couple of guys that I know I quote unquote want to play are way down the list. Like, first of all, Chiras. I mean, what is this? Chiras only 17%. Duncan only 12. You know, Roy Val only 10. Lacerda only seven. So that that's, you know, you might argue that that's just not going to work for you. You know, um, so what are you going to do about that? Well, you can manually just go ahead and, and give yourself some more of these guys. Like you could go ahead, for example, and, and I'll put in, you know, 30% Duncan, just like that. Give it to me even. Yep, 30% Duncan. And then again, we think this is an important fight, so we, we're not going to pay Tor Torres. We have met twenty six percent. I guess that makes sense, you know, given leverage and stuff like that. Now, again, what we're doing here is 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 uh, what we're doing here is is getting out of the saber sim mode, sort of, right? Like we're forcing saber sim to do what we want to do, and and you might not feel comfortable with that. Like I know that I want you think <laughs> you want more Lacerda, for example. So you put in, say, 20% of Lacerda. I think this makes some sense. 
And obviously you want Shirez, and he's, you know, a big part of this. You want to get him probably at least at least that amount of Chires as well. And this kind of is a decent reflection of, you know, at least your 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 takes. You know, so that is definitely something you do. But now you're stuck with Brandon Royval and only six percent. And I know I want more of him. Now, what does that mean? I know I want more of him. Like you think you want more of him. So you could just do this. You put 30% Roy Val. So now what do you have? You have like your takes because I wanted more Roy Val. I wanted more Lacerda. I wanted more Duncan, right? And this actually makes some sense. I mean, you can do this. You have 43% Barcelos, et cetera. So you, you can do this. Now, what do you think would happen though if you... If you then went to MMA default and you still try to keep your percentage, it probably won't let you. Actually, it would, right? Nope. Torres still, it still won't let you play Torres because the MMA default setting really punishes ownership. Okay. So I think this is a pretty reasonable, it seems like a reasonable attempt, okay? But even still, when you do this, you have to at least give it some, I don't know, some uniqueness medication, right? You have to do a little bit better than this. So that means you can either take salary away or you can take, uh, just artificially take ownership away using geo mean filtering. So when you do that, the geo mean filtering, and you can do this from the site now, uh, you put in this 31,000 entries. If you want to get, say, maximum of five dupes, even, say, 10 dupes, just to be conservative, 26 would be your max geo mean. So you can then go in here and you can go filter geo mean less than 26. And this will this will take some lineups out. I mean, it will. Like now, now you're getting now, now you're getting into the weeds here, right? Now, now you're really getting a bunch of this. You get 42% Chris Duncan, 42% Brandon Royval. You know, th this is see, this is this is what you're this is this is good stuff. You're getting only 10% Torres. Now you're getting unique, right? But I think this is a probably a good thing that you can do. And you're getting a very uncomfortable 30% of, 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 of Yasmin. Okay. So that makes perfect sense. So you could you could do this. I think you'd be kind of well within your rights because you know when you played your your takes, you played your whatever, and you've also give yourself a little bit of uniqueness. Now, what you also could do is you could screw around with the min uniques and just get a little bit less concentrated. And that makes some sense. I'm going to min uniques three even. That doesn't quite get there, right? So get min uniques two. And I think that that is another thing you could do. Um, the guy I'm really getting very little. No, I'm getting enough yeah, here. He's in there. So what you've done is like you've given yourself, you know, a good, a good combination of your projections, your takes. And you have some uncomfortable fades. So, you know, like, like Quinones, he's, a, he's not a bad play. Only 6% of him, but you can't have everybody. Claudio Pueblas, 12% ownership, that's not a bad play either. 18% ownership or whatever that is. But you can't have everybody. Torres, I mean, what a scary fade that is. But, hey, if you don't like that, you could give yourself more. You know what I mean? Like, you so, totally do that. But, you know, again, if you're trying to get, you know, not that unique, then, you know, then you really don't want that much of Torres anyway. And the problem is you can't do like salary restrictions with Torres. You know, you, you could you could play him and then what, what are you leaving on the table? You can't really – see, if there was somebody that was going to be really popular that was like three or 400 ahead of him, I would, I would maybe try it, but I don't even see that. Uh, I don't even see that working. 
I do see that Barcelos is 37%, and I don't like him all that much, whatever that means. So what I could do is, as I said, play Torres, and then I was going to say play Torres and then leave enough money so that you couldn't get to Barcelos. Problem there is that, let's look, what are the medians even? Barcelos is 74, and Torres I have at what? At 69, okay, so you could do that. So what, what you can do is you can play Torres, but in Torres lineups, you could leave, what is he, 8,300? You leave, and what's what's Barcelos, 86? So you could leave 300 on the table in all of your Torres lineups, for example. So how do you do that? You know, like, so if you want to play 30% Torres, you got to build those kind of separately, right? So you got to build. So what you probably do is if you want 30% of him, we're only going to play. And right now, how many lineups are you getting with him? Uh, what's it, 19? And how many do you need? 45 or so? So you're going to need 25 more lineups. What if you only played, like, for example, like 125 of these? Let's just see. And then you're getting 14 of these. So how many need 40 more? You're going to need 40 more? So 25 more would get you 40. So that would get you about 25, 30% of him. Okay, so that's fine. So so you played a hundred these 125. And then you build 25 more. Let's 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 do this. Watch this. So let's um save this in CSV. Let's just let's just call it something so we know what it is. We'll call this uh so I don't forget. Where's MMA? Um we'll do call MMA. Um 125. Uh, I'll just say no Torres. It's not no Torres, but okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here and we're going to build 25 more lineups. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to go, we're going to lock in Torres. Boom. We're going to say no Barcelos. Boom. We're also going to say no Moreno. I think that's actually pretty sharp. And then what we'll do is that, what's Moreno's price? Moreno's 8,800. So we'll leave 500 on the table. So all the, the, the people that we're going to play Torres in these lineups are going to rather go play Moreno or both. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to set build settings to Max salary, 49, what did I say? Um, how much to get to Moreno? 400? No, 500. 83, no, 600. So 600 we'll leave on the table, so 49,400. We're going to build just 25 lineups. We'll build like 250 just so we can see a bunch of them. And we're locking in Torres. We'll keep well, you know, we'll keep the geo mean filter. Actually, we don't need to keep the geo mean filter because we're already saving salary. And we'll see, and these 25 lineups are going to make up the rest of the Torres exposure. So the first bunch of Torres exposure was was based on MMA default settings, which is good, right? Because that's pretty aggressive. Or we were only getting 10% of it, let's put it that way, in the in the in the sin diversity ones. It was geo mean filter, that's what it was. And then oh perfect. So these were like just atrocious. Actually, we don't need to do that. We could actually filter them by sin diversity. These are all leaving the money on the table that we need. They all do in fact have Torres in them. And this all makes sense. So let's now save these. 
Boom. And then what we could just go ahead and do is we'll combine the files. What was that other one that we said? 125 Yo Torres. It's over here. So then we'll put this over here. This is good. This will be the new set of 150. Mm -hmm. and we'll do is we'll just go straight into the DraftKings and save it there just so we have it. And again, this is this is just for the 150. The only thing that I would think about what I, I did mention that. The other Torres lineups were not built for MMA default. You want to know why? Because we didn't get any, which is fine. We did get them from geo mean filtering, and we got some Torres ones where we were leaving money on the table. I think that makes sense. I think that is the play that's good, a good play, but you want to do something with respect to ownership. You know, and what you could do right now is, is you could double check to see who you have but I'd almost rather not. What I want to do is I want to do a contest. So let's run the contest sim. And I want to see what kind of lineups we'd be getting with no other, you know, oh, we were saving salary. All right, we got to Actually, it's not too bad to save salary in your contest sims in general, but let's... Uh, But let's um let's build again. Actually, we can just go back to actually we can. Uh five thousand. We're gonna build actually we're gonna build we're gonna also make sure to not leave not, we're not gonna use opposing fighters. And we will rebuild our lineups just like that. 50. Okay, we'll rebuild our lineups. Um, so while this is happening, I, I, I am going to check and see who we have here. Let's uh, upload entries, download them. But I think it's important. I don't know, like when I, I think about this with MMA trying to get MMA, MMA, NME trying to get different and all this stuff. You almost don't even want to see who you have because you're just going to end up getting biased. But just to see, I mean, yeah, this makes sense. 39% Roy Val versus Ortega, Celis Nimo, Duncan 31%. I like this. Okay. And I am getting Torres, but I know the Torres ones are not that highly owned. And these are my root against. I mean, you have to be rooting against somebody. The Tercios one's a little a little concerning. Um, that's got a whole fight I'm kind of under on. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I think that's all fine. And you can't really have everything. Um, let's go back then to the... Uh, let's go back to the builds, I guess. Where were we? Build four? Was that it was? Build five? Where are we going? Build, we're on build four, right? Yeah, okay. We'll just wait a few minutes. Actually, what's going on in the soccer thing? I was doing pretty well. Oh, there it is. God dang it. This guy's too good. Doing really well in the soccer, and then everything ex blew up in my face as usual. Oh, that's not true, actually. Yeah. God dang. It's so hard.
Oh, now nah, they gave up the goal. All right. Um, all right. So I am going to pause this for a second. Uh, you don't need to watch me do this. Um, and then I'll show you what the uh, what the contest sims look like. Okay, so we'll take a look and see what the um, the contest sims look like when you rate them by. Let's see. This? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't run them yet. Sorry, I did the builds. I didn't run the contest. Again, when you when you sort them by MMA default, you get all this other stuff. That looks pretty good up the top. I mean, like, I don't know if you want Yaraguay be your top owned fighter, but hey. Uh, okay, so UFC Throwdown sorted by risk adjusted ROI. This is what it would look like. Um, and this looks, by the way, completely reasonable. I mean, like, look at this. This is exactly oh, because what we did was we we did minimums. But this is actually not a bad idea. You set your minimums, and then you ran your contest sims. You get 65% Royval. And although you do get 43% Torres, you're also getting 34% Duncan. This is actually... This isn't bad. I mean, I have to say. Um... I mean, it's not quite as as technical as we did before, but I just have a feeling it's just not quite as. Yeah, we're getting these like some of these are just a little bit too chalky. I think. Yeah, that's why I was glad we did to the geo mean filtering uh, on some of these and and the salary restrictions on some of these others. Okay, but this is not bad. I'm mean, I have to say. Um, if you wanted to be very pure, actually, this isn't particularly pure because you set minimums. Uh, let's just see what it would look like without setting the minimums. How about that? Now, what's it look like? Let's see. Ah, all right. So now, without setting the minimums, you'd be getting mostly Yair, Torres. See, this just, to me, even though it's set to be uh, contest sims, it just looks too chalky. Like, all these guys are the best plays. I know what you're going to say. What's wrong with that? I mean, nothing really. But I guess it's more instinct than anything else. I mean, this just this this construction for 150 is not winning at all. It just isn't. I mean, it could, but, but not often enough, I don't think, to do what I want to do. I mean, you could from here go back and go, all right, so... If you do like this, but you want to get a little bit worse, I mean, you go maybe here, you go a Geo Mean 27 or something, and then see what it looks like. All right, so this this would be better because you get a very, you have to see something sort of uncomfortable, like 45% bonder. Who wants to do that? Ah, okay. So then you're into something, and you're getting zero Barcelos and zero, you know what I mean? Like and zero Moreno, for example. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, I'm not, I can't give you answers because I don't have them. I'm just kind of giving you options on how to use these things. And uh, hopefully that was instructive. Uh, and hopefully you guys are, uh, are, 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 are kind of with me uh, near the top of the leaderboards, at least at some point. And hopefully you have a chance for at least one unique lineup to get the 100,000. Good luck, everybody.